Uh, second base is Youth Shelter in Scarborough. Um, so we work with youth between the ages of 16 and 21. It's remarkable. Yeah, what they do is um, we have a program. They go to George Brown for a couple of months, mm -hmm. and then they come here, and me and Chef Ron, we teach them what we know. We give them the skills so they can actually go out and get a decent job in the kitchen. Mm, this is something I always wanted to do when I was a little kid. I was once there, so you know I'm just trying to pass on the knowledge that I have to them, so they can pass it on when they get older, and the cycle continues. You have have lived a life uh, pretty isolated, or not living with people who have accessed employment. Um, you, it's a it's really difficult to envision what certain type of jobs look like. So. Once I graduated, I found a placement at uh, a restaurant. I wanted to get into raw foods, which is a niche type of restaurant. But there's four in Toronto, and I got into two out of four graduating from this program. To me, that's unheard of, and it's miraculous. It's phenomenal, because I, one of the things we observe, and I think they begin to observe, is there's a lot of growth that takes place. You're not just learning about how to make an omelet. You're learning about how to work in a team. It's important to me because I'm... Um, yeah, like other kids around the world don't have this opportunity like how I have it and um, I always wanted to do this because it's like a way of me getting out my feelings and my passion and what I always wanted to do. I started cooking when I was about seven years old. My mom used to force me and make me come in the kitchen and help her and I just developed after that. I actually liked cooking after so I just continued doing it. You're learning how to take instructions respectfully. You're learning how to offer your opinion, you know, uh, in the creative process. And that's something that often we take uh, for granted, you know, but a lot of the folks that we serve haven't had those opportunities, you know, to work effectively in a team on a project, to be a contributing member of, of uh, something, you know. So that's really quite remarkable. I'm going to stay here as long as I can. I'm trying to develop a uh, second base to be actually, like, the best kitchen shelter in Ontario or I should say Canada. So other shelters will take what we do and try to make their shelter the best like how we have it. That's actually really remarkable, a really remarkable thing to observe. You know, a young person who, for the most part, didn't necessarily believe in the future, didn't necessarily believe in their ability, transition to a place where they're down at George Brown wearing chef's whites and beginning to envision a future is quite remarkable. I'm thinking I'm joining the military and the Navy. And, yeah, yeah, and travel. It's 